You guys, it is Christmas crunch time right now and it never fails this time every year. There is somebody I accidentally forgot on my gift list or I get a gift and I realize, ooh, I didn't realize we were exchanging gifts this year. Well, today I am sharing a ton of super quick, like you can put together in under 30 minutes, super easy and affordable DIY gifts. So in case you get stuck in a bind this year, you can throw together these last minute gifts and be all set, so stay tuned. I absolutely love giving gifts, but with the hustle and bustle of the holiday season, sometimes you just forget. Maybe it is a teacher, it's a neighbor, it's a friend, it's a coworker. So I wanted to put together these quick projects so you will have these in your back pocket in case you need to throw them together. So let's get into it. A first is one of my favorite personalized gifts to give and they are these easy photo coasters. Now I am going to print these photos at home on my new Epson printer with my app, but if you don't have a photo printer at home, you could absolutely print these out at your local photo place. I would suggest printing them out in the four by four size if you order them, but I'm just doing four by sixes here that I'm gonna trim down. Then for the actual coaster, I'm just using some 4x4 tiles. You can buy these individually at a hardware store. I got these at Home Depot and they're like 10 cents a piece. So for four of these, you're right around like 40 cents, maybe a little more, but so inexpensive and they are so pretty. So you're gonna trim out your picture to fit onto your coaster and then do a coat of Mod Podge, put your picture down, and then you're going to do another coat of Mod Podge over the top. I like to seal the edges like I'm doing here and then do long straight strokes horizontally over my coaster, let that dry and then do the same thing vertically. When it dries, it's gonna dry clear and then your photo is going to be protected from any condensation. The last step is to just take some hot glue and add some felt to the back so that they don't scratch each other when you store them or when you are using them on a table. Now what if you're doing this for somebody that you don't know as well or you don't have access to photos or they don't post on social media? Well here I made a version of these with the Rose family from Schitt's Creek and it's awesome because I just grabbed these images from Google Images. I cut them out the exact same way, printed them on the photo paper, and then I tied them up and then you've got a really fun personalized gift, especially for like coworkers. You've probably heard them talk about their favorite show before. So here's a fun way to show that you've been listening and they are very affordable and quick to put together. In the same vein, if you have somebody that has kids or grandkids or they just got married, these little wood coasters are really easy too. I got these from Amazon. I will link them down below. They're available for Prime, so you can get them super fast just in time to get these done for the holidays. Same process though, trim out your image, put it down with some Mod Podge, and then seal it over the top. These are images that I recently posted to my personal social media to share with family and friends. And so that's a great way to get some photos and then just pop a hole in the top and then you're able to hang them. And they are super easy and so fun. They are sealed down so they will be there ready to be brought out for years to come and they'll think of you every time they have this ornament. When we recently did our mystery box challenge, Natalie over at Design to the Nines made some adorable earrings with some Walmart little mini ornaments. So I wanted to do those as well. Be sure to go down to the description for the link to her video. She's got a ton of other really cute gift ideas that she made in that video, but this is one I knew I had to make this season. Okay, brace yourself because this is gonna be the quickest project of all time. You're gonna need some mini ornaments. Walmart still had a ton near me, but you could also find these at Hobby Lobby. Target has them. Mini ornaments have been all the rage. So wherever you can find them, grab them. You're also gonna want some of these fish hook earrings. I got these for under $3 a pack at Walmart. When I got home, I just removed the string from my ornaments, took some pliers on the fish hook. I opened up the end. I put my ornament on there and then I use the pliers to close it. That is literally it because the ornaments already have something to hang it by. You don't have to drill holes or anything. So I did that with a wide variety of these ornaments. I even painted some of those colored bulbs so that they were more traditional Christmas colors. They turned out super cute. They are not heavy at all. As you can see, they're not pulling my ears down. You don't have that like icky stretch, but they are so fun and festive. You don't even have to have a festive outfit on for them to feel nice and Christmassy and festive. These are perfect for hostess gifts. These would be fun for teachers, especially if you do some of the winter ones that they can wear after break. A ton of different options. These are so, so, so fun. 
Now, personally, I love to receive candles, but I don't have that be a go-to gift if I don't know the person likes candles, because if they don't, it could be just really useless. However, I've got a lot of friends and people that I know that do love candles, and so I wanted to let you know about Walmart's candle section. This is just this weekend, so my Walmart had a ton of seasonal candles. They've got cute little stickers on them. That one says, Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. But you can also grab any scent from any store in a glass container and make it over. Now you can get these from anywhere, but the ones I'm DIYing today came from Walmart because that's where I happen to frequent to get groceries. I grabbed one of their fresh baked cookies as well as the bourbon pecan pie. And these are under $4 and they smell just as good as the Bath and Body Works ones, I swear. So the first thing I did when I got home was just take these stickers and peel them off. They are not Dollar Tree cheap adhesive. They come off really easily. Then I took one of my free cut files I recently shared in my Dollar Tree video, but I will link it down below where you can get it. It just says, tis the season to bake cookies. I cut this out two and a half inches tall by three and a half inches wide on my Cricut, applied it, and this is so, so cute. I use permanent vinyl and because it's on the outside, you can go ahead and burn the candle. I also decided to do one that wasn't holiday themed and this is a saying that I have on a sign in my house that you guys always ask if I have a file for. Well, now I do. And while we're at it, I wanted to share a quick little hack on how I got those little words to cut out. So I cut out my decal the same size as the first one, so three and a half wide by two and a half tall. And then I stuck my decal back to my mat. I started by removing any of the little pieces and like O's, A's, all of the insides. And then without doing any more weeding, I'm just taking a piece of transfer tape and putting it right over the top. Then I'm gonna peel it off my mat and stick it back down. Yep, stick that transfer tape down. Give the back a really good rub with your squeegee. And then because the mat is kind of holding onto your transfer tape, you're gonna be able to peel it back and it's gonna grab all of those little pieces. Now this one is kind of a beast to weed, I will be honest, but this will work for any of your little pieces. That way you can easily kind of weed it without losing any of the little bits. It took me a little bit of time, but it was so worth it because this looks super cute. This is also great because they can use it well after Christmas or they can use it when they entertain for the holidays. In that same vein, these canisters are also from Walmart. I found them right in the front section. They are new. I just recently saw them, but they have a red and like an off-white color. And so I loved the Christmas tree farm, but I thought with the back being blank like it is, it would take vinyl really nicely. So I started by measuring my canister to know how big my decal should be. So I went with four and a half inches wide by three and a half inches tall. The first one I cut out on white vinyl reindeer snacks in my Ray Dunn dupe font because I do collect Ray Dunn, but if you don't, I have another option for you coming. I just added some transfer tape and put it on to my jar, easy peasy, and it looks honestly like Ray Dunn. I use the font Amatic, and I will have this file. You could download this exact thing if you wanna do this project. If not, you can use the font, the skinny as well, but that one's a little trickier to weed. Once it's all applied, I absolutely love this. This is going to join my faux Ray Dunn collection. And then I also decided to use that same home design that I used on the candle, but cut it a little bit larger. And this one, you could just regular weed. It came out just fine. Then when it's done, just put a little bow on the top. You can fill it with different treats or goodies. Or if it's for a teacher, you can do some types of stationery, school supplies, pens, markers, etc. Super easy gift. I showed how I made over this Hobby Lobby picture over on my Instagram and you guys loved it. So I wanted to share it here too. You don't need a picture just like this. You could get whatever you want, different pictures, different containers. Hobby Lobby has a ton of options, but easily taking a Cricut and putting a decal on here. I just cut out their last name, the year that they were married. And then all you have to do, you can pop in some greenery or you can even do fresh greenery. And this is a super quick and easy, great gift. This would be great for teachers, neighbors, hostesses, a ton of different folks. So all you gotta do, stick on a decal. If you do not have a Cricut, you could stamp it on there. You could use a paint pen and write on there. Really personalized gifts are huge and that also shows that you went the extra mile to personalize it for them. Now I usually don't do a lot of baking or cooking here on Whiskey and Whip, but these are so simple, anyone could do them and they are such fun gifts to give. The first recipe I am sharing today are gonna to be for these little pretzel bites and they are so good. So you're gonna need parchment paper, some square pretzels, M&Ms, and some kisses for the first one. 
So the first thing we're gonna do is lay out some parchment paper on a baking sheet, and then we're going to lay out all of our pretzels. You wanna pull out any of the broken ones so that they all lay flat, and then we're going to top those with unwrapped Hershey Kisses. I like to use my smaller baking sheets for this because once you make your chocolate warm, you're gonna have a little window of time to kind of work with it before it hardens. And so I just don't like to have too much to do in one window. Then when all of your pretzels have a Hershey Kiss on top, I put the whole pan into a 250 degree oven for two and a half to three minutes. And you just want it to melt just enough that you're gonna be able to add an M&M. When you open your oven, when your timer goes off, they should look like this, a little droopy, a little shiny. Then you're gonna take them out and take some M&Ms. I'm using red and green holiday ones, but you could use whatever colors that you want or do this for any season. And then I'm just going through and taking it and pushing it directly down onto the point of the Hershey Kiss. Then put those to the side and let them cool and then they are ready to be given. They are really nice because it's a switch up from the traditional Christmas cookie and their little poppable bites. You could also make a different variation, same pretzels, but then put Rolos instead of Hershey Kisses. Then I like to top those with some nuts and you've got little turtle bites, which are also divine. Then just grab any container that you want. This one first is some Dollar Tree little tins. I put some parchment paper in, I fill them with the goodies and then I close it and you can kind of wrap it up. I made some fun little gift tags to let folks know what were inside and I plan to gift these to our neighbors in our cul-de-sac this Christmas. You could also get creative with your containers. Here I put some into a little Santa ceramic jar. I got this one at Walmart in the same section. or you could also put them in these really fun Christmas drinkware jars. I just made sure to leave some space for my straw and just filled those in there, but these are super cute and easy to put together, fun for neighbors with kids. I have been loving hot cocoa this year and what is better than getting a whole container of mix that you can make whenever you want, fun toppings at the top. This is another one that will literally take you five minutes to throw together and you just need a couple simple ingredients. So let's make it. First thing is two cups of this Hershey's unsweetened cocoa powder and the whole container, the eight ounce container is two cups, so you can just dump it in. Then I'm doing one cup of powdered sugar and then two cups of this non-fat dry powdered milk. That is gonna give your hot cocoa a milky consistency. Then you're gonna add a pinch of salt and whisk it all up and then you're done. Take some sort of scoop and fill it into your mason jar or whatever you're using. Then I topped it with some chocolate chips and some marshmallows that's totally optional. And then I finished it off with some fabric on the top for a cute little display. Now Walmart and a bunch of other places has really cute mugs for very affordable prices. These sets are $9.98, so for an extra 10 bucks you can really up the ante for this gift. So then to finish them off, I just made these really cute little gift tags that explained how to make the mix at home. I've got these over on my blog as a free template. So if it's something that you would like to recreate yourself, you can go over, use the template, just replace with your own last name, and you can easily gift these jars as soon as the same day. Another easy mason jar gift is this Christmas morning pancake kit. For this kit, you're gonna need some complete pancake mix. That just means that you only have to add milk or water just so that the gifty doesn't need to have anything on hand. And then also I decided to include the syrup, but that's optional for you. I also grabbed some really cute holiday utensils like a whisk and some spatulas to A, help with the overall display, as well as making sure that it was kind of an all-inclusive kit. The last piece that was totally an impulse buy was this really cute gingerbread flipper that was under three bucks and this was just on an end cap in the home goods section at Walmart. So to put together this kit, I'm using a large mason jar and I'm just filling it up to the top with the mix. I decided not to add anything else into the mix just so that the family can decide what they want to do with it. Once that's done, I just closed it with the airtight lid and then I'm gonna add a wraparound bow of wired ribbon to both my mason jar as well as my maple syrup. 
when the bow is tied, I'm just dovetailing the ends so I have a pretty little finished look. And then it's time to add my little utensils. I'm just taking them and shoving them in the back in the gap between my ribbon and either the jar or the little bottle of syrup. And it worked out really well because they're not super thick. So I did the flipper and one spatula on one and then a spatula and a whisk on the other. This would look really cute in a basket. You could put it in a bag, but then they've got everything they need making Christmas morning pancakes super easy. I took the information from the back of the pancake mix to put on this card. This is another free one, but you could also make your pancake mix from scratch if you want to do that as well. I was just short on time. And our last thing we're going to whip up are some of my favorites. These are super good. They are little pretzel, peanut butter, and chocolate bites. So to make these, you're going to need some parchment paper, both powdered sugar and brown sugar, butter, creamy peanut butter, almond bark, and pretzels. Step one, take one cup of peanut butter, add it to a bowl, and then add two tablespoons of melted butter and give that a good stir. So then to that mixture, you're going to add three quarters of a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of powdered sugar. Then give that a really good mix. You could also use a hand beater if you don't want to do it by hand. You're looking for a doughy consistency that doesn't stick to your hands when you get it out. Then we're going to take that mixture, create little marble sized balls of the peanut butter mixture and put it in between two of our little pretzels. You could also use the square pretzels we used earlier too if you want to use one bag. And once those are all complete, you're going to put them in your freezer for 30 minutes so that they can firm up. Then when you have about five minutes left in your freezing time, I took some almond bark. I used four squares. You just bust it off. It's easy and affordable to find. You're gonna heat it up at 30 second increments till you get it to this creamy consistency. And then I just took a fork, stuck it in my peanut butter section of my little sandwich, dipped it in, shook off any extra almond bark, and then I'm putting it on parchment paper to harden. The great thing about almond bark is it hardens pretty quickly, but if you need help with anything hardening in this video, you can just go ahead and put it into the freezer or the fridge. I ended up doing some halfway, some fully, some to the side, some to the top half. You can really do them however you want. I was just kind of going with what mood struck me. Then to give these, I found one of these really cute little plates. It says Mary, it was $2.98 at Walmart. I filled it up with some of these bites for a hostess gift, added some plastic wrap over the top, and then to make the plastic wrap look a little bit more pretty, I wrapped it up with just some tissue, little red truck on it. I creased two pieces together and then I just kind of wrapped it around, tied it with some ribbon, and this makes it look a lot prettier than just a plate with some saran wrap. These are so tasty. You must try these even if you're not going to give them as a gift. And if you are giving them as a gift, make a bigger amount because you're going to want to keep some for yourself. <laughs> Well, there you have it. I told you it was gonna be quick and I told you it was gonna be easy. Be sure to let me know down in the comments your favorite project that I shared today and if you plan on using any of these for your Christmas gifts this season. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe down below so you don't miss a future Whiskey and Whip video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.